for a mixer, JB. Come on. My first toaster. Toaster in it. Now, are you going to eat waffles with your toaster? Yeah. Now, where are they at? Sorry. Come uh, <laughs> Let's go down here. Come on, I get you, get you, get you. Oh, toaster. Here's a toaster. We just need a basic toaster. There you go. Okay. I thought I saw something. Now I need a mixer. Yeah, I, I gotta find another. Yeah, I gotta find another. Oh, look, JB. Yeah, I gotta get another hand mixer. I just need a basic mixer. Okay, baby. She said as soon as she's done with her homework, y'all can play, okay? Okay. What do you see? Oh, yeah, yeah. All I see is a uh, jungle. Is that, oh yeah, I see the city. Those are, those are landscapes. Those are skyscrapers. Mm -hmm. Cookie's almost done, baby, okay? Mm -hmm. Aww. JB is helping my niece do her homework. It's so cute. She's uh, in first grade, and y'all know he's in between first and second grade. Let's just be real. It's so adorable, though, because she's. They're talking. She's like, you're my best cousin ever. I'm like, girl, he's your only cousin. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. Ooh, that's cool, bus. It's Friday, it's Friday, and I'm ready to swing. Girl, I got on this little house with the Perry bonnet. Excuse the noise, y'all, bus went by. Um, It's Friday, it is the week before Thanksgiving. I'm gonna my fluffy ass down here. Come on, girl. I'm not too, too, too fluffy because I am back at my pre-coronavirus weight. Yes. And I did it by really just limiting the number of calories I eat, y'all. I, I was on a basically, I did not go over 1,400 calories a day. Um, no snacking, no eating after, eating late, limiting my sweets or really cutting down on my sweets. Um, yeah, so I'm back in the 160s because, girl, I was going up, getting close to 180, and that's too much weight on my frame. So, anyway, y'all, it's Friday, Friday, and I have a, <coughs> ooh, I have a doctor's appointment this morning. I'm this close to, to canceling it, but it's my well women's exam, and that is very important, especially for us as women of color because we are at a higher risk for ovarian cancer, breast cancer, etc. Now, this is just my Well Women's exam. Um, I'm going to postpone the mammogram, fill up my titties next. I'm sorry, sorry, y'all. I'm gonna postpone my mammogram to next year because hell, it's November, you know. So I'll postpone that to next year. Um, I'm hoping. You know what? No, I won't because I'm not sure. Like, if the OBGYN writes me in order for this year. I have to do it for this year. That's what I'm assuming. So I'll do the mammogram this year. No problem. JV is in there playing his his little game. Let me sit down in the bed, y'all. My skin looks good. I did a facial this morning. Really took the time to wash my face, use my, you know, I exfoliated. I did everything. I basically did a facial. I need to order a little bit more of my um, lactic acid and some of the other stuff. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Um... I'll order that. Girl, we gotta order these damn Christmas prep. He ain't getting nothing. <laughs> I'd order these Christmas presents, y'all. Have y'all started ordering your Christmas presents for your, your your children? For your children. So girl, I put everything in an Amazon um cart. 
Oh, look at this hummingbird. Oh. Anyway, y'all, I put everything in an Amazon list. Or oh, I made an Amazon list like months ago, right? And so we spend money on our baby. He's our only child. And it's been a rough year. So we legit are probably going to spend close to $300 on Christmas presents for him. And JB's birthday is literally two weeks later. But for his birthday, he gets one thing. He wants a Game Boy. I'm like, what year are you in? Y'all know JB, old school. So he's gonna get a retro Game Boy I found on a, on a site and that's it for his birthday. Um, So what's the point? So yeah, I have, I'm gonna order all of his Christmas presents actually next week. And y'all, I can't wrap Christmas presents for shit. I remember who was that that used to wrap your presents for you? Was that Macy's or JCPenney's? Do they still offer that service, y'all? My one homegirl said that she would help me wrap them. Um, that was last year when I told her, I said, girl, I'll be wrapping these Christmas presents. Like he ordered five pounds of catfish, like literally. At one time, I didn't even wrap. Like the last two presents, I think it was like when he was... When he was five years old, I gotten down to the last two presents. I put a bow on top. I'm not, I'm not wrapping up no backpack. I'm not doing your Peppa Pig backpack and get a bow on top and that'll be it. So I'm not good at wrapping presents. I'm a crafty heifer, but I am not good at wrapping presents. Even when I try to take my time, I'm not good. So anyway, y'all, what are y'all making for Thanksgiving? So I really have not been, like I said, my appetite has been off the chart. So I really have not been in, in the mood to, oh, what am I going to make for Thanksgiving? So we're going to do traditional Thanksgiving now. I don't like turkey. My husband doesn't like turkey. Um, don't eat pork. And we eat beef, but the type of beef I like, he doesn't like. So that's out of the question. So girl, we're going to be doing the same old, same old. Oh, hell, I just realized. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So we're going to be doing, um, chicken and dressing. That's traditional. Chicken and dressing, green beans, um, fried corn. I may do some mashed potatoes. I rarely make mashed potatoes. Now, I make potatoes, but I typically roast them. Um, I may make mashed potatoes, Cornish hen. Now, I'm going to do roasted Cornish hen, but a part of me wants to fry those little damn... <laughs> and I have a pot big enough to fry them, too. I want to fry them, you guys. I really do. Now, last year, I think I made my husband's traditional food. Did I do that for Thanksgiving or for Christmas, y'all? I don't remember. And that took a long time because the prep was forever, girl. So, yeah. So, um, a roasted ham, we ain't gonna fry them. Roasted ham, chicken and dressing, green beans, mashed potatoes, fried corn. Oh, but, girl, this man walks in, this, in our neighborhood. I sorry, y'all. This, because my window is halfway open. He walks you remember how in the color purple how um Sophia was walking up to talk to um Whoopi Goldberg about uh her telling you know what's the name to beat her that's how he walks with his dog like he's gonna go see you know child anyway so anyway um I'm sorry y'all for dessert baby oh yes ma'am so I made this cake a couple of years ago and I made one for for us and then I went, made one for my husband and his um, job but I spiked their cake I put rum in it so this is a what do you call it a caram a caramel well, a brown sugar pound cake and what I do is I combine the recipe from divas can cook and cooking with curling I combine both of the recipes now if you not a baker don't do that girl, girl don't do it so I combine the recipes I do a spin on it and it is so good. It's basically a brown sugar pound cake made with toffee and pecans with caramel sauce. Now I don't put toffee in it because that's just too rich. But I do I do use pecans. Um and I'm trying to think whether or not I want to put that in the batter. I'm going to have to look at Cookings with Carolyn recipe again and see how she does her batter. Oh, yeah, let me stop rambling. I'm going to go eat my oatmeal before I go to my doctor's appointment. Look at my baby, y'all. Look at my baby in his school picture. I think he was five here. Oh, y'all, my, my nails are coming off again. I'll have to do another set here. Um... So yeah, y'all, that is it. I put my hair in loose two strand twists. Do y'all want to see them? They're a little messy. I'm gonna style them today. I'm gonna style my hair today. 
um, in an updo. But loose two strand twists almost looks like after a week or so, they start to look like locks. Hey, you guys, I am out of my doctor's appointment. <coughs> um, girl, it is hot here now. My car is reading 100 degrees inside. Um, that's inside. I don't know how what the temperature is outside, so I need to hurry up and get home because I have an uh I have a meeting now and within an hour. They put me at I don't know what number, I don't know what it's called, but <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> the doctor was basically like yeah, I'm looking at your percentile barometric. I don't know, girl. She said you're at 19% and high risk is considered 20. Um, so I definitely have to go get a, you know, I've been getting mammograms since I was 32. But she said after a while I'll need to get something else, an MRI. I'm like, oh, okay. But um, based on, you know, what I was telling her about my cycles, she has uh, scheduled an ultrasound to look for fibroids. Y'all, hopefully I don't have any fibroids. I wouldn't be surprised if I did, to be quite honest. Um, I've had two surgeries to remove a cyst, and one of them ended up in a miscarriage. It was horrible. Um, but God is good because four minutes, four minutes, four months later, I found I was pregnant with JB. So y'all, let me go ahead and head home. Um, I really want to stop by and get something to eat, but I've been eating out so much. I have no idea how I lost this weight with as much as I've been eating out. So I'm just going to go home and eat some leftovers there and I'll talk to y'all in a couple more days. Okay. Hey y'all, I'm in the back room, about to gather my Thanksgiving menu together. I have all this nail stuff in front of me. Look, my nails are horrible. I had everything out yesterday, trying to figure out what colors I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do all new fall colors. Look, I said, oh, I only need, before I started getting everything, I told myself, oh, I only need like five or six gel polishes. Girl, a couple months later, yeah, I have about 20 gel polishes. Now, some of this stuff was sent to me. So, girl, like four. <laughs> and then I got gifts, I think. Anyway, y'all, so yeah, I'm writing down my Thanksgiving menu. My husband is off the day before Thanksgiving, so we're gonna celebrate a little bit early. I don't need to write down what I'm gonna be doing. Um, cause Thanksgiving is Thursday. It always falls on a Thursday, and so he's off tomorrow, which is Wednesday. So today, which is Tuesday, I need to prepare the cornbread broth. Oh, I could, I could do the broth tomorrow. I could technically do the cornbread and make the cake, cause I don't want the oven on all day, even though it's cold here. Um, so let me just write down. I'll write down in a second. But what was I gonna tell y'all? Um, child, Miss Lori came by yesterday to get her turkey. I wasn't even here. I had taken JB to the park, our neighborhood park, and he ran into someone he knew. So we stayed there for a while. You know, he chit chatted with someone with his friend. Um, and I let him play for a while. Um, besides that, y'all, it's of course the week of Thanksgiving, but it's busy at work, which is good. I'm okay with it being busy right now because it's not like anything out of the extraordinary. Um, so I may be able to work and still do Thanksgiving stuff and not feel like it's overwhelming. You know what I mean? So it's okay. It is what it is. All right, y'all. Let's try to 
buttermilk pancakes. So that's what we're gonna do, make some pancakes. Well, do you know what the word tangible means? Yeah. Let's think about stuff that's not so tangible. This is tangible, meaning you can see it, you can feel it. But something that we may be thankful for that you can't really, um, it's like health, you're thankful for peace of mind. That's the only thing that you're thankful and for. And we went somewhere. Okay. Places. So why don't you put vacation? You're thankful for family time. Okay, mom. I, I first I gotta do. Oh, I'm not gonna watch. You have to write it. No drawing. If you need, if you have trouble with the spelling, that's okay. If I just yum, yum, yum. I promised. I promised him if he was a good boy this morning, I'll take him to Krispy Kreme. He ain't been a good boy, but whatever, girl. So this morning, you know, I check my emails, y'all, and it's been really crazy at work, but hey, it is what it is. So I'm checking my junk email, and I'm seeing Google payment, Google payment, Google payment. Now, this is the 25th. We typically get paid on the 21st. So I'm like, okay, this is Google's messing up. You know, these are spam mails, or it's an accident. So I'm like, whatever. So I delete it, and then... What do you do? Change your top shirt. You've been wearing it. Go change your shirt and then brush your teeth. Okay. Fine. I want that. Yeah. Go ahead and do that. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, whatever. What? Why are they sending me, you know, junk mail? They've already sent my payment, which was, that time I looked at it, it was a little bit more than I got last month, but still considerably less than what I'm typically used to. Fine. Hey, anything is... is a blessing in my eyes seriously at this point so something tells me because just go look at your google adsense account and i look at it and i see a balance there and i'm mm -hmm. like okay this is still messed up now go brush your teeth and then we can go <laughs> girl so i'm like again so what then i go say? into transactions <laughs> where you can actually look at the separate trans transactions y'all they're singing sending me an additional four payments <laughs> When I tell you that is a blessing, let me tell you something. My my cup runs over. I don't need anything but to have that cushion right now when I really been trying to up my savings account. And I'm a type of person, y'all, I'm going to try hard not to cry. I give. I give and I say, okay, even, you know, when I feel convicted, the Holy Spirit tells me just give it. And I'm like, okay, but I really needed to do this and this and this. I remember I gave money to someone as soon as the pandemic hit and I had a little extra and it was, it was like $75 or I think like, yeah, it was $75 and she just had to close down her, her gym. I'm like, I really need to save this, but I have it. So I gave it to her and I'm like, I know God will bless me with it later on in his timing and so to get it right now during the holidays where i could really need it you know you i could really use it excuse me y'all i really am it's so important to be obedient even when you don't know what what the end result is gonna be so anyway um, hey y'all i went over i just got back from miss lori because I just got back from Lori, I dropped off JB, um, and I dropped off some soup. Child, I made my husband, well at least I thought I made him some dinner, and he's like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to do that soup because I can't handle the cream. So I'm like, oh, you got, you got the bubble guts, okay. So I'm like, let me drop this off over somebody's house because I'm not gonna be able to eat all this food since I'm technically, I'm cooking for Thanksgiving tomorrow, right? So y'all, I finished my cornbread today, I, have been so busy at work that I did not do my pound cake today. I'm going I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I think I get finished eating my dinner or lunch slash dinner. I'm gonna go pick up JB and then start to make the pound cake tonight. Um and then I'll just do the caramel glaze in the morning. These bread seekers to hurry up. Miss Lori was like, um, you can leave him here. I'm talking about JB. She said, you can leave him here, go do something, go bake something. <laughs> So I'm like, I, I'm like, dang, I just bought y'all some soup. You want me to bake something too? Lord have mercy. It's standing up in the heck is this? Oh my God. Hey y'all, 
it's three o'clock on Wednesday. Let I'm me tell you something. This candy. I bought JB this candy. new thing, y'all. God it's is so candy. good. I got five extra payments. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Not four, five, and they were all over a hundred dollars. The most one being hundred and seventy-five. Let me tell you something. So I bought the baby a new toy. That's where he's playing with a, a, a claw machine. Yeah. yeah. So y'all, I'm cheating because it's three o'clock and I'm just not cooking Thanksgiving dinner, girl. But technically, we don't even eat to six. So that what? That's three, four, five. I have three hours to cook. That's more than enough time. The cornbread is done. The the dessert is done. The Cornish. Oh, sorry. It's okay, baby. Go ahead. Sorry, y'all. I bought. Oh hell. I bought a store bought roasted chicken, and that's what I'm using to make my broth. It's been basically simmering for about an hour. I'm gonna let it simmer low for two hours. Cornbread. Here y'all, I have here some sweet potatoes. This is my broth. Look at that dark rich broth from a roasted store-bought chicken. Corn. This is my um, celery, onion, I know, girl, butter for my dressing. Here are my hands in here. It's, I'm sorry y'all, it's four o'clock. Over here, I have my rotisserie chicken I pulled apart. I have on here some sage, uh, brown, sorry, brown. Sage, black pepper, uh, salt. I have some cornbread in here I've crumbled up. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. I have one egg. The egg is just to mix it, to bind it all together. It's my binder. 